Yo, what's up, Bob here. Thought I'd come on and talk to you guys about a brand new stack of records that I just received. These are all available in 2023. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the music and the general presentation of the record. And of course, the pressing quality. You know, sometimes they get everything right all the way up to the point that the record is actually pressed and then they screw it up big time. So we're gonna get into that. A lot of people have been telling me how great this record sounds. I had an OG, so I was reluctant to buy it, but I'm glad I did. The Smashing Pumpkins adore. I remember when this record came out, I've been listening to it since day one. This particular edition has this stunning tip on foiled jacket. It's incredible looking. Super heavy duty. It's fantastic. This is a double album, kind of Billy Corgan's love letter to his mother. It is on these custom labels. This is put out by Virgin, maybe Martha's Music, which is like Corgan's sort of vanity label, I guess you could call it. But this sounds incredible. It's the best I've ever heard it. I have a mono of a door. As you can see, this is not a foil copy, and it is on Caroline. This is one of the very first pressings. Now, something I will say, some of these new tip-on jackets have not been being made at Stoughton. They're being made somewhere in Mexico, I believe, and we're getting some interesting stuff here. Okay, I have the old copy of a door behind the new copy. Now look at this. It's like a quarter inch taller than your standard record. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you could probably see the sleeve right here. It doesn't even come all the way to the top. I had to make a custom sleeve for this record. So that is one criticism. Otherwise, this is highly suggested. This thing sounds incredible. Assuming you're a Smashing Pumpkins fan. I decided to not get the UHQRs of the Bob Marley stuff. Especially since Tough Gong was going to be reissuing most of the well-known Bob Marley records. Pressed at Tough Gong limited edition and numbered. So I've ordered a few. I've gotten one so far. Bob Marley and the Whalers confrontation. We all know this record because it has Buffalo Soldier on. How did Tough Gong do? Well, this sounds pretty good. Whoever did the mastering did an excellent job. I think it was somebody out in California. I'm not real sure. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But from what I can tell, it sounds pretty darn good. I would suggest this. Now, the vinyl is not completely flat. It's not badly warped or anything like that. It's just got a bit of a wave to it. The pressing is mostly quiet. It doesn't have any scratches or anything on it, which is important. And the cover is pretty high quality. It looks pretty nice. Now I have my old US pressing right here. And I don't know if you could tell, but the artwork is a little brighter and a little clearer on the US pressing. Now I have ordered Catch a Fire. Now I don't know if it is quote unquote the Jamaica version of the songs. Hopefully it is because that's incredibly hard to get. Normally, you know, that record is in that Zippo lighter jacket and the Jamaica pressing is really expensive and hard to get. So fingers crossed that when that arrives, the audio is the Jamaica version of the record. I believe Mr. DeVore did a whole video about Catch a Fire's Jamaican version. Now, this record right here is a fantastic record. It has a lot of cool songs on it. 
beyond Buffalo Soldier, so I do suggest getting it. If you don't have it already, for sure grab it. These are pretty inexpensive. Some, I, it's, I paid only $25 for this. I've seen them as high as 40, so the price is kind of all over the map for whatever reason. Possibly my favorite record of the bunch. Bobby Hutcherson featuring Harold Lamb. This is off the Blue Note classic vinyl series, San Francisco. Boy, do I love this record. <laughs> this is right in my wheelhouse. This is my jazz sweet spot. This is super vibey, no pun intended. Bobby Hutcherson obviously is playing the vibes. Harold Land, I've been deep into Harold Land ever since I got A New Shade of Blue earlier this year. This is a great record on mainstream. And as soon as I saw this record, I thought, man, that's got Bobby and Harold, two of my favorite guys right now. I'm going to pick it up. This thing sounds incredible. Kevin Gray, he can do no wrong. The music on this is spectacular. Spectacular. Bobby is on the vibes and marimba. Harold Land, tenor sax, flute, and oboe. Joe Sample is on piano. John Williams is on the bass and Fender bass. And Mickey Roker is on the drums. And this is a great sounding record. Just got a little bit of that kind of dark, exotic sound that I like. Definitely buy this for $28. Next, I passed on the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon. 50th anniversary box. But I wanted the live at Wembley. And here it is. Got this cool looking hype sticker. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And what looks like the early template for the Dark Side of the Moon cover. Pretty cool. It's kind of an alternate label. Sounds pretty darn good. Not a lot of Pink Floyd out there live. So for them to have been sitting on this pretty high quality, <laughs> complete Dark Side of the Moon show is pretty insane. This is great. They, they're all going for it. The sound quality is there. Cover is super cool. Let's talk about the pressing. Mine. Ah, let's see if we can get it right here. Ah, yeah. It has a big kind of scratchy smudge. Does not make the record skip or anything like that, but it does introduce a little surface noise onto the last track, which is The Great Gig in the Sky, yes. So, a little disappointing there that my copy wasn't completely flawless. I knew that was going to happen. I was looking at all the different copies on the shelf, trying to get one that the hype sticker was really straight on. <laughs> and I thought, I'm sitting here fussing over this hype sticker, and I guarantee you my record's going to be warped or scratched. And damn it, jinxed myself. Oh well. It doesn't really affect the play too much. But it, it was a little disappointing. So... You know, buyer beware. They got me on that Animals remix and remaster. I had that noisy track at the beginning, and now they got me on this one too. Pink Floyd, get your shit together. Last but not least. Possibly the only one that I'm going to tell you, go out and buy this right now. Don't even hesitate. Sounds fantastic. Kraft did an excellent job on it. Pretty much through and through. The jacket is nice. The record is fantastic. The music sounds great. And it's a deadly difficult record to get. I mean, to find an original pressing of this, hmm, near impossible. John Lee Hooker, burning. Boom Boom is on here. And that is probably, without a doubt, the most famous John Lee Hooker tune. It has this relatively simplistic cover, but it is iconic. 
This is a great record. It is from the tapes. Kevin Gray mastered. Sounds incredible. Kraft did an excellent job. There are no problems with this pressing. I got the orange swirl. You know, it looks okay. It's pretty cool. I got this directly from Kraft. These are sold out. But the black one is probably even better, to be honest. Came in this Kraft anti-static rice paper sleeve. Very nice. Highly recommend this. I really like all of the records I showed today. The only one I was sort of disappointed in was the Pink Floyd because it had that boo-boo there on the last track. But overall, there's a lot of great stuff coming out. This was in the high 30s. This was about $30. 25 bucks I paid for that. Good luck. $28. Bargain. And I paid about $28 for this. So, you know, small fortune, but some good records. Got a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm going to be posting about it. <laughs> so, uh, keep your eyes on me. I'm going I'm to be doing some stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good week. Until we meet again. That's right, folks. Bob out.